All right, sir, so I won't talk. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah, take your number down before I do it, and that will cost you. Okay, sir. I'll, I'll put the number down. Thank you. I think it's trying to communicate with me. Thanks for being alive. Hello. Hello. Uh, yes, hi, ma'am. This is Ray. How can I help you? Did you just call me, ma'am? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't get your voice. Uh, how can I help you? <laughs> it's okay. I'm a sir. Yeah, I got a weird charge here on my Amazon account. I'm confused. I didn't buy no MacBook. No, sir, that's a fraudulent message. Uh, getting any messages like that, if you ordered a MacBook or an iPhone, those are fraudulent emails. The, what they're trying to do is they're trying to, like, uh, you know, scam you. They send you an email that you've, called, that you've bought a MacBook, and if yeah. you want to cancel the order, then you need to call on that number. So what they're trying yeah. to do is they're actually trying to make you call on that number so that they could scam you. So you don't need to call anywhere. And that's a scam uh, email. You don't need to do anything. Just delete that email. No, don't worry oh, about it. Thank you so much for warning me about them. You're welcome, sir. If there's any other problem, you can call us and let us know. All right. Yeah. I have a question. Yes, sir. Why are these assholes sending me mails like that? Sir, so these are just scammers. They All they try to do is they try to find different ways to... Uh, like access your account or access uh, your information. So that is why they would uh, like send you mails or uh, try to come up with different ways that you get scared and uh, and you call them. And if you call so, them, then they will, uh, what they will do is they will say that, okay, we yeah. need a bank account number so that we can refund the amount of that MacBook. And if you give them the bank account number, then they'll hack your bank account. Gotcha. What, they do. I, what, what would you recommend I do? Should I go to the police? Should I just ignore them? Just ignore it because uh, that is just spam mails and stuff. So you can just delete the email if you want to. Going okay. to the police would not make much difference because those are just spam mails. They send like thousands of e emails like that every day. Yeah, so, you're right. I'm not a big fan of the cops that anyway. I'm not a big fan of the cops. Well, uh, the thing is, sir, whether you're a fan of cops or not, the thing is, uh, this, these cameras send out thousands of mails every day like that. So it's just that you don't need to pay attention to such emails and don't fall for those kind of well, scams. That's it. I just hope for them I won't find them. Because you know what I will do if I find them? But, sir, no one will be happy with them, so obviously they will do bad I will them. knock their teeth out and punch them on the nose. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to get a hold of them. They do this all day. So we get a lot of yeah, I bet you they are all in India, huh? I'm sorry? I bet you they are all in India. Well, sir, they are all in different parts of the world. I'm not sure where exactly they're sending those mails from, but they're all in different parts of the world. Hey, thanks for the warning, man. You're welcome, sir. Have a good day. Hey, hey don't let me find out you're part of them, okay? How oh, else? Well, why would I be a part of them if I'm telling you to stay, stay away from them? Well, just don't let me find out you're one of them. I'm warning you. Hey, one more thing. As I said, sir, why would I be one of them? You are one of them, huh? You're full of shit. So why are you talking about? If you're a man, you you're a man you will admit it. it. If you're a man, you will admit it. You're one of them, huh? Just admit it, you pussy. You're one of them. I don't know, so what makes you think I'm one of them, but again, you're the one who's calling and I'm trying to tell you to stay careful of them. If you believe yeah. I'm one of them, so I don't know why would you make such an assumption. But but the number I'm calling right yeah, now was in one of those mails. 
No, sir, it cannot be from one of the mails. I can guarantee you. You can guarantee it. Yeah, because this number that you're calling, this is a toll free number. So we don't send out these numbers in mail. Or no okay. One is out these numbers. Okay, is this the official Amazon number then? I'm sorry, what? Are you the real Amazon or is this a third party? So this is a third party providing support for Amazon. Okay, and your colleague said she was Amazon. Cut you out in a lie. So You're one of them. You better take your number down, or else I will do it, and that's going to cost you. You better take your number down. I'm loading my call flow. Well, like you know what's are... going to happen, huh? You better take your number yeah, down now. Sir, if you... Again, sir, we're telling the customer that we are a third party provider. If you are, if you have paid any sort of to us, man. you're not happy about it, we'll refund you the money. Whatever, man. Whatever, man. That's what I asked, sir. Have you paid us any money? Is there. If you have paid us any money, I'll have that refunded back to you because if you're unsatisfied with the service, there's yeah, no you are refunded back yeah. to me, huh? That's all you do, right? You refund people their money. What do we do with their money? This Max, is the refund. If you have paid us any kind of money, and if you're un if you have paid us any money, or if you're unsatisfied with the service, or if you don't want your money back, refund the money back to you. Right. So I'm rather happy right. to that if you have paid anything and if you're unhappy, we'll refund you the money. The more you talk, the less I believe you. All right, sir, so I won't talk. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah, take your number down before I do it, and that will cost you. Okay, sir. I'll, I'll put the number down. Thank you. Will you? Yes, sir. I'll put the number down. Thank you. Okay, because else I'm going to call you a thousand times a second. That's going to cost you. You better okay. take it on yourself, okay? Okay. And find another job. <laughs> See, guys, how they are. Pretending to to warn you against scammers or they try to help you. That's all paranoia. They think somehow that 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 we will believe it and leave them alone. You know? Like yeah. like like it's when a company says that they're gonna call the police over a prank call. You know? That's just to scare the kids off. Oh fuck. We shouldn't call them. And that's what these scammers think they will achieve. They think like that we now think, oh, it's legit, let's not call this number, let's uh, look further. A few moments later. We're sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number and try your call again. We're sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number and try your call again. Hello viewers, we are anonymous. And we will not be censored, that's why we use TorCard, the world's best, fastest and most secure anonymous VPN. Best of all, TorCard allows you to bypass pointless streaming restrictions on websites like Netflix. You can get 50% off today using the code FIXDAY. The link to purchase TorCard is in the video description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and follow me on social media. Don't forget to check out DVR's channel. The link is in the video description. Check out these two videos if you want to see more scammers get destroyed. Thank you for watching and have a good day.